Okay, here's what I've done today so far. I've changed the door pins in this little truck. Um, I got to do a little bit of work. The brake lights on, check engine lights on. <clears throat> um, yeah, oil leak, timing cover. Um, it's coming from right at the bottom corner, timing cover, and someone was just in here and put a did a little bit of work on it, and it's leaking where they did it. So. I guess this will be my next little project is take this apart and um, see if I can figure out why it's leaking oil and fix it for them. I was watching some other people's videos and we're getting a little bit of relief. It's like right around 90 degrees here today. But um, I don't know if you can pick all that up or not, but we got a lot of brown grass. Um, I haven't mowed this grass in a couple weeks and I mow from the road down there all the way up to here and on the back side all that and almost the same on the other side of the road there. Um, but I haven't mowed it in two weeks and this is all the Morris Grove, you know, so we need rain badly. Um, the garden the garden's hurting from it too, so I guess I'll go out here and put the top on the back of my truck. Here's some of my tomato plants. As you can see, they're not too terrible there, kind of small. Then you come up to here, and I got all these tomato plants here that just ain't gonna make it. Um, they're just burning up, no rain. I don't know, just last year everything was so wet, everything rotted. This year, I don't know. Just a dry year. I got a few cucumber plants here. Um, I've had one or two cucumbers off of them. My volunteer tomato plants are coming up here, and I got some pepper plants. Some of the stuff around here is not doing as bad because I can water it, but gardens up on the hill and stuff just aren't looking very got good. Got some more tomato plants there. These ones aren't doing quite as bad. There's still a few runs in there and stuff. Um, I know I got a lot of weeds I gotta get around. It's just been so hot I don't want to do anything out here. I've had so much to do and but there's some more I got somewhere around at least 50 tomato plants I think that made it right here at the house and then we got some more up on this little spot back here too. Um, got squash plants there, yellow squash. I got a bunch of different kind of tomatoes and stuff here and then the other day I made that video and um, I got stung pretty good. And <clears throat> I don't know if you can see where I dug out here and stuff. That's where I was digging around trying to find out where the bees nest was. And eventually it come up to being right up in there at the base of my plant. And um, that was the third place I would got attacked that same day with bees. And um, all in all, I ended up with about 35 bee stings that day, so it wasn't a very good day for me and bees, but...
Okay, well that didn't go quite as smooth as I thought it was going to go. Usually I can put that on there in one shot, but camera's rolling, so I guess I had stage fright. But anyway, it's on. It's a nice little top. Um, you, it'll roll up or you can run it up on them little um, shock absorbers and let it hold up there. So I had a hard shell top, just a flat one on my other truck. And if you went somewhere and you had to haul something, you had to make a choice whether to leave your top there and haul the thing and come back and get your top or whatever. That's one thing I like about this one. I can put whatever I want in there and I can roll that tarp up if I'm somewhere and just put it down in there. So but anyway, that's to put in the top on. I guess might as well show the mess ups along with the good things I do. I should have had that on there easier, but anyway, it's not that hard to put on. I just messed it up. So. Anyway, have a good day and hope to see you on Mumble.